Yo conocí a Nacho cuando fue mi alumno en el tercer curso de la carrera de informática y ya pues desde el principio pues vi que era un alumno diferente en cuanto a que era muy inteligente, así tenemos muchos alumnos, pero vi que era diferente en el tiempo que dedicaba a los demás, en que siempre estaba dispuesto a ayudar, que siempre estaba preocupándose de que todo fuera bien. What I think the essential ingredient of Nacho, the thing that made him so different from everybody else, is that Nacho never tooted his own horn. Nacho never tried to step on other people or be bigger than other people. Nacho would be working on his work, somebody else would have a problem, Nacho would stop working on what he was doing and help the other person on what the other person was doing. I have known Nacho for more than 20 years. Since 1992, Nacho and I have been collaborating. He has been coming to Illinois twice every year. He has been working with me, my students, and we also have joined PhD students. Every time we work together, Nacho always shows me how to be patient, how to be persistent, how to be encouraging, how to be gentle. Nacho has become a part of the family. He loved our kids so much. He's, he's like one of their parents. He's like our kids' favorite uncle, and that he comes, we look forward to his visit every year, every summer, and every winter. He was a wonderful person. I have learned a lot working with him. Uh, we did great research together, uh, but more importantly, he was just a, a lovely human being who was always willing to help uh, others, whether these were students or friends. Uh, he has been a very close family friend since I have met him. He was the first person to go out with every time I visited Barcelona. Nacho was one of the most kind person I ever met and he was very brilliant in his uh, professional. Uh, whenever we had argument or some unrest in meeting, he was the, usually the one who calm everybody down and make sense out of all the, the uh, things that uh, we argued, uh, etc. So it was always pleasure to be with him, it was always a pleasure to work with him, and he will miss us uh, a lot. We did uh, special lab sessions there using the Corus microkernel, and I remember very much uh, discussing with Nacho about the different concepts that Corus was uh, bringing up, like uh, the actors and threats, and the way the, the memory pager was uh, implementing virtual memory, which were uh, a lot of advanced co concepts by that time. Eh, bueno, me dio clase y yo nunca pensé en hacer el doctorado, pero ya en el primer año él me preguntó con, si estaba, estuviera, estaría interesado o qué me parecía y medio me convenció y desde entonces pues se convirtió en mi, en mi advisor, en, en llevarme la tesis y además pues eh, eh, colaboré con él y, y le ayudé a organizar eventos aquí en, en Barcelona. Nacho fue mi director de tesis, eh, mi amigo y un padre para mí. Eh, de él me llevo sus valores, eh, su energía, su amabilidad y su generosidad. Eh, creo que no solo nos enseñó eso, sino que nos empujaba a que fuésemos eh, un ejemplo para los demás. Nos ha enseñado a, a disfrutar de, de cada momento y a disfrutar de, de compartir con los demás y de, de ayudar y de siempre preocuparnos por, por, por la otra gente sin, sin buscar nada a cambio. February and August are the two worst months to be in Champaign, Illinois. February is cold, snowy, and he will leave Barcelona to come to Champagne in February. Why? Because he's, he will be there for the retreat. And we have a yearly retreat every year, and Nacho will come in and, and listen to all the students. And Nacho's style, I don't know how many of you work with Nacho. Nacho's style is that he will be in that meeting, he will be listening, but he will not say anything. And then after the meeting, 
he will go to each student and very gently give them the feedback. Quería decir simplemente por aclarar lo que había dicho. Yo me estoy encargando de un de un proyecto en Israel, colaboración con la UPC también. Eh, eh, y Nacho eh, está muy interesado también en este proyecto. Es un proyecto muy interesante que mucha gente de la Opus Dei tiene una gran ilusión por ese proyecto, que se llama Saxum Menabugos. Y él había hablado a Abby de este proyecto. Y el último mensaje que yo tengo de Nacho es, tengo que presentarte a mi amigo Abby, que queremos ir juntos a verlo. Un día nos lo tienes que enseñar. Nacho came and led, as I always make fun, the Spanish Armada to Romania. And uh, he led about a group of 15 students. And they had, they had a lot of fun there, but that's, the students had fun. But uh, that's something that I've seen, it's a special if you want, I heard a lot of things here about Nacho, but something special about him, he was really like a father to them all. You had a heart for the many people around you and an eye for the many events that you took part in. You took pictures constantly, and when I look at them again now, we, your colleagues, are always smiling as we looked into your camera, as we looked at you. Yes, you made us all smile. Thanks for helping me to go back to my camera and copy the pictures to the computer. You replied when I asked you once for a copy of your pictures. A week before the shocking news, we were together with some other friends, just having a beer and having a good, a good time together. And uh, it's been difficult, very difficult to accept that Nacho is not on his trip as he was always going back and forth. Uh, uh, and it's been difficult, very difficult to accept that uh, the last thing he, he said is, uh, we have to have a dinner together. And I said, yeah, uh, let's find a time. And it's not going to happen, so. First, he managed the email. At that time, the email was a single machine. So he was really the manager of the email. He was, <laughs> he was delivering, printing the copies of the emails and delivering the copies uh, office by office. I, I, I emailed Nacho after seeing his webpage. And in his webpage, he had a lot of hair. He was thin, you know, very good looking. And then we decided that we would meet at his office. So when I was knocking at the door, he was behind me saying, hey. And then I just go back, like, hi. Like, and I keep knocking. I didn't recognize him. Uh, Tardé tres años en, en tomar un café y decirle, oye, Nacho, cambia la, cambia la foto, por favor. <laughs> cambia la foto. It took me like three years to have confidence with him and tell him, please, change the picture. I recall it was Friday night, and we have been working all the week in the lab until late. Nacho always there. And Nacho was, if, if we were in the lab, Nacho was in the lab. That was the rule. And from time to time, he was always checking whether the work was progressing, we were we would make progress, but he was also checking that we had lunch or that we went out and walk. He was always not only the academic part, but the personal. He was taking care of us. That was his role. Creo que, que él ha dejado el nivel muy alto. Hemos intentado seguir todo su estela y solo podemos estar agradecidos por lo que nos ha dejado. Eh, gracias a todos. Sus últimas palabras, eh, yo soy muy aficionado a, a correr medias maratones, eh, half marathons, y me dejó escrito, ¿no? Go for it, you will win half marathon. Podemos, pues eso, go for it, todos a por ello, y, bueno, seguir con su ejemplo y preocuparnos unos por otros, quizá, eh, pues bueno, pues de verdad, ¿no? Escuch sabiendo escuchar, sabiendo dedicar tiempo, dejando a veces lo urgente a un lado y, y dedicándonos a la verdad importante. Eh, Nacho era el perfecto anfitrión en cualquier evento, incluso si no había tomado parte en la organización, porque siempre estaba con las 50 antenas puestas, eh, preocupado en que todo estuviera bien y en que todos estuviéramos bien. No puedo obviar la influencia que en mí ha tenido la persona de Nacho. ¿no? Los que le conocisteis sabéis que su cercanía, amabilidad, disponibilidad, espíritu de servicio y cariño 
contagiaban una alegría y una felicidad ante las cuales era muy difícil permanecer impasible. Creo que nunca estaré suficientemente agradecido de todo lo que Nacho ha hecho por mí y también he de añadir de todo lo que ha hecho por, por mi familia. Uh, his non-stop dynamism, his motivation to transmit knowledge and his enthusiasm when trying new things and new approach has been a constant all through this year. Nacho has been a professor, but also an educator and a mentor. One of the things people at the faculty or at the university appreciates very much is the acknowledgement of their own community. And in this case, the acknowledgement has been for, from everybody, from the friends, from the family, from different study, students, from colleagues. And I think, and I think that in, in it's, it's obligatory for, for the university also to present the respect, the acknowledgement of uh, this very good professor, Nacho Navarro. Whatever he is at, at this moment, Uh, I think this afternoon uh, we have learned very much from him and we will be a better people everywhere of us, better beings, better human beings after this meeting today. Thank you very much. Antes de que me olvide, quería agradecer a mucha gente que habéis venido de muy lejos, especially Wellme and Sabrina who came from Singapore through Dubai, so here they arrived Tria Huaseco, especialmente a Sabrina y a Wellme, que habéis venido de eh, Singapur a través de Dubai. De, a, a, también, also Carlos and Isaac. I mean, I like that you are part of his family. His son, Nacho, has a huge family. Me alegra mucho saber que Carlos, Isaac ah, y todos los estudiantes pues dijeran que se sienten como hijos de él, porque realmente eh, Nacho ha tenido y tiene una gran familia. If I would like to summarize, because you, you say many good things, I mean, I, I think we all agree on your comments. If I would like to summarize my feelings about Nacho, I would say he was the most generous person. Uh, I never find, found. Si tuviera que resumir en una palabra quién era Nacho, diría que ha sido la persona más generosa que he conocido. Y lo habéis definido muy bien, con frases, con situaciones. I was saying that uh, I am very sure that Nacho is in the first row with God, okay? Because he did so many things for everybody that Even he doesn't like to be there, he's in the first row. But looking behind to see if any of us goes to the heaven, I say, please, this is your seat. I will be back taking care of you. This was Nacho. 